guys, Nikki Wood here with Apothecary 11 and I'm coming to you with your June tarot forecast for 2018. So let's talk about what's going on this month. We're going to go over some different aspects um, of your life in the areas of mind, body, heart, and spirit so we can kind of get a comprehensive view of what you might be experiencing or what you need to look out for or what you need to pay attention to. So before I do start that though, I really, I'm a little nosy and I like to give everybody, especially whether I'm doing readings for you guys like this or whether I'm doing private sessions, I like to give everybody as much information as possible because I don't know, I wanna know, so I figure you guys do too. So what I do is I do a little kind of overall umbrella energy to tell you what's going on this month um, in case there's something we've missed or that falls outside of these areas or something that's really important for you to know. So what Spirit wants you to know this month is that there's going to be um, a lot of tension or a lot of stress that's gonna be relieved for you guys. And I really feel like it's more of like stress that's gonna kind of be like leaving your area. And you're just, I get that kind of feeling in my chest where I'm like, <sighs> where I can just breathe. So if you've been going through some difficult situations or some trying times or things that are giving you gray hair, uh, you can expect it to loosen up a little bit this month. And with this kind of loosening and this relief that comes through too, there's another card here that comes in conjunction with this, and that is the Four of Wands. Now the Four of Wands is a perfection card. Now because it is upside down reversed, that means it's to a slightly lesser degree. Now before you start freaking out and think that this is bad, it's not. It just means a little bit less. So maybe it means that instead of having three scoops of ice cream, you have two. Either way, you've got ice cream and you've got a lot of it, so you should just relax and be happy and enjoy it. Now, let's move on for a minute and talk about the different areas uh, this month. So we're gonna start with our mental state. So what's going on upstairs for you guys at the month? Uh, so I pick up here, I pick up the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands, it's kind of like new beginnings and fresh starts and growth and things like that. But what I'm kind of really picking up here for you guys, uh, mentally what's gonna be going on, you've got new ideas that are coming in. So the great thing about that is that, you know, that can change a lot of stuff. It can change, you know, your passion, your motivation for certain things. It can change the way that you look at the world or it can just make you smarter, you know? So either way, you've got a lot of really great stuff going on upstairs this month to look forward to. So you should be excited about that. Now, moving on to the areas of body this month, I don't know what's going on with y'all, but it's gonna be a little bit tough. So I feel like things kind of feel heavy or kind of like it's a lot you're, uh, someone's asking you to do. So whether that is with, you know, exercise routines that you're doing, whether that's self-care and keeping on top of that, whether it's more technical, like medical things that are happening, whether you have new treatments or new regimens or new medication, whatever it is, it's gonna feel kind of heavy and like a lot of work this month. Now, uh, if you guys feel bad at all, I just wanna let you know, I've actually started working out and I do not enjoy it. And this card is exactly how I feel right now. So I'm expecting to probably feel like this for most of the rest of the month, but hopefully after that things will pass and they will lighten up and loosen up a little bit because it really sort of does feel like a truck ran me over when I get up in the morning. But um, hopefully I'll be bouncing around by the time July uh, gets here. So just keep in mind that, you know, this energy is not gonna last forever with what's going on with, you know, physically with you. It's just gonna feel a little heavy this month and that's okay. Just try to relax and breathe through it and stay grounded. Now, if we talk about uh, the areas of the heart this month, we have the King of Pentacles and he's reversed. So areas of heart can be anything from how you feel on a day-to-day -day basis to uh, how your relationships are going, whether they're friendships or working relationships or whether they are romantic relationships. But it's just whatever's going on in the fields, like right in here, that's what this card is gonna represent. So I feel like you're kind of having a lot of kind of like trying kind of times this month because up this way, he has the Midas touch and everything he touches turns to gold, but we are looking at it upside down. So this means whatever he is touching, it kind of turns to dirt or sand or whatever it is that it's turning to. It's definitely not gold. So I feel like you guys are trying this hard and you're making such a good effort this month uh, emotionally, whether it's stuff that, you know, patterns that you're trying to break, whether it's the way that you are treating other people, whether it's the way you're interacting with other people, you're making a solid effort, which is really, really great and very hard to do. So if you're doing that, you should be very proud of yourself. But the thing that's gonna be difficult is you're gonna have some false starts to you kind of figure it out. Um, you know, when you give somebody a compliment and it comes off wrong and then they're mad at you and you're like, I just wanted to say that you look nice. I didn't mean, oh God, you know? So that's sort of what's gonna be happening this month. So maybe you try to do something nice and your feelings get hurt, or maybe you say something to, you know, your best friend and, you know, they they take it the wrong way. Or whether you're trying to do something nice for somebody in a relationship, you know, you buy them flowers, but they're allergic. 
you know, things like this are, are you know, situations that you're going to encounter. It's not anything that you can't overcome, and hopefully you can look back on it and it will be, you know, sort of haha funny amusing. But just expect to kind of be challenged by trying to make some changes this month. Uh, the last thing that we want to talk about is spirit. What's going on in, in the areas of, you know, spirit or your spiritual practice this month? So the card that comes up here is really great. This is the world card. So for me, when I'm looking at this and when I'm intuiting information for what's going on with your spirit, it looks like you feel really good and really connected this month. And if you're trying to implement new spiritual processes or learn new things or new techniques or whatever you're trying to work on or towards, you're going to be really successful. So if you want to try something new and you haven't started yet, this month is a really good time to do that. So get off your butt and get going. And the great thing is too that, you know, some of the other areas that we've talked about so far, you know, some of them are okay and some of them seem like, eh, I don't know if I really want to do that. That seems a little challenging or that seems frustrating. And that's okay because the energy always is changing. But that's just what you're going to be going through at this time. But the good news here is spirit has your back. So you really don't have to worry about anything else except being in alignment and staying, um, you know, connected and just being really mindful. And when you are in that state, the really great thing is, is that things can kind of happen around you and it's not going to knock you over. You might, you know, kind of sway a little bit back and forth, but it's not going to knock you off your stance and what you're doing and where you need to be going. So keep that in mind this month. Try to remain, you know, solid and in neutral and, you know, spirit's going to have your back. So you don't even have to worry about it. That's everything that I've got for you this month. I know we kind of covered a lot really quickly. Uh, I hope it was really helpful. And uh, I hope you guys have a really great June. You know, it's been a little cloudy here. I'm looking forward to some, you know, sunshiny weather so I can be outside. Uh, you know, it's a little unusual to be this dark in California, but um, I'm hoping for a great summer. I hope you guys get one too. And we will catch up again in July and see what's, what energy is floating around for you guys. So until then, thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a really beautiful day.